Welcome to the lesson that's going to demonstrate how to do the writing piece for this project and add images to your assigned Google slide. So to get started, you're going to go ahead and go to your Google Drive. Make sure you're in the correct account. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Drive for this project. And in the example in the previous video, it was in sixth grade computer design and then switch zoo and there is the document switch zoo story you're going to start answering the questions in the left hand section of this table so what is your animal's name so I'm going to take into consideration what it's made up of so I came up with the name Chiger Dawson I'm going to start off the sentence possibly this unique animal is known as the Chiger Dawson I will go ahead and look at the next question and I could go ahead and I can grab these and do control C to copy and then I would type in it consists of and then paste that control V so of a Bengal tiger, cheetah, dog, and bison. So as you can see I'm answering the questions as I go. Now it surely help to be able to see the animal so that I can make reference to that as I'm writing my story. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click down in front of directions. I'm going to choose insert. I'm then going to choose image and I'm going to upload from the computer. And as you recall, the previous video said to save it on the Switch Zoo folder. In this case, I put it in the computer design folder. So as long as you keep track of where you put it, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap the text by clicking on it. And now I can look at the image as I write my story. In order to find out where it lives realistically, as you recall, I clicked on the bison. I'm going to get the habitat of the bison. So in the directions, there's a link to Switch Zoo site. I'm going to go ahead and go there. If you want to find bison on the site, you can do Control F and type in bison or look for it alphabetically. As you can see, here's the habitat. So I'm going to go ahead and just mention that it comes from the plains and prairies of the United States and Canada. The next question asks what does the animal eat? So as you can see the head is of a tiger so I will go back to this site. I will do control F to find tiger and I'm now going to go look at the diet of the Bengal tiger and here is the information. I do not want you copying and pasting. Just take bits and pieces you don't want to be plagiarizing. So this is what I came up with. It is a carnivorous animal that eats mostly wild deer, elk, and even birds. If you look at the Bengal tiger, there are other animals that were listed. So for example, young elephants, monkeys, and so forth. I did not include those because those animals are found in Africa and other parts of the world and not in Canada or the United States. Hello, did she just say Africa? A tiger's diet comes from Asia just wanted to point that out. You want to make this as realistic as possible so that you can persuade the reader that your animal could actually exist. I'm not going to demonstrate each question and how to look that up. I am going to encourage you to look at the example that I set up and actually read it to see how I answered those questions. That will give you a better idea of how you need to be setting up your story. You need to try to make it realistic. Once you have your story and it's well written and you don't have spelling and grammar errors, you're going to select that story. You can right click and choose copy and then you're going to go to the online word counter and you're going to go ahead and right click and choose paste and as you can see that's 354 words. It's a little over the 350, but let's see if it actually fits onto my slide. So with that information copied, I'm going to go to my slide. Let's say I was assigned slide five. I would come in and select this text and choose edit, paste without formatting, and it fits fine. If you were to go over 350, you might run out of space on the slide and that could become an issue. You're then going to make sure you put your name there you're going to go ahead and select that first image, choose replace image, upload from the computer, and then go to that folder on your desktop that has your animal. You're then going to take a topic from your story and replace these images. So to replace the image, you select it, you choose replace image, search the web, and in this case, I'll type in planes and look for an image. So I'll select this image, 
and then choose insert. If you get an error message, then try a different image. Maybe I'll type in prairie. I finally found an image for the habitat and now I'm going to go ahead and look for a bird. So I selected this image, choose replace image, upload from computer, and I typed in birds from Canada. Just so you know, it should be search the web, not upload from computer, unless there's an image on the computer. I don't want to be getting birds in Africa or other continents because my animal does not reside in those continents. So I'll put uh, Birds Canada and then look for a bird. And we know that Canada has the geese. So I will go ahead and choose one. I'll select this one and hopefully it will load. There you go. This concludes the session on how to add your images and your story to your assigned Google slide. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.